The exhibition for this year is Bytown Museum, A Century of Community, and it's celebrating uh, 100 years since the founding of the Bytown Museum by the Women's Canadian Historical Society of Ottawa. This building, the Commissariat, was built uh, in 1827, and it was built as a storehouse for the Rideau Canal project. People in Ottawa tend to um, walk by some of these stories every day without knowing about them, walk by the Parliament buildings, walk by the canal and maybe not know the significance they have uh, to this city and to this country. This is um, a milestone in Canadian museology and I say that very seriously. There are under a handful of museums across Canada that are a hundred or more years old. So it has served the community of Ottawa and the region of Ottawa for over a hundred years. So the Bytown Museum can trace its roots to June of 1898. That's when the Women's Canadian Historical Society of Ottawa was founded. And the Historical Society eventually required a permanent home. So in October of 1917, they founded the Bytown Historical Museum, which is our 100th anniversary this year. The collection itself grew exponentially in the 1930s and 40s, when the museum had its first official curator. But it's a very eclectic collection. We are one of the oldest collections in the area. We've been planning out 2017 for two or three years now. You just don't wake up at three o'clock in the morning and say, wow, we're going to celebrate. Um, you have to really plan it out. The opportunity to not only tell the story of the museum and a little bit of the story of the collection, but also just um, pull out some individual stories and individual artifacts that maybe haven't been seen in quite a while, as well as artifacts that were really key to um, the museum's founding and some of the, the key moments in its history. This exhibition, rather than telling one chronological narrative that we would normally do, is more of small stories uh, of individual people, individual artifacts that helped build Ottawa and build the Bytown Museum. And I think um, when you get to a hundred years, you've really passed uh, out of memory and into history in a way, because there aren't any surviving members, let's say, of the original Historical Society of Ottawa to tell that story anymore. And so we're really reaching back and using artifacts to, to celebrate that anniversary that we don't have any more first-hand accounts of.